Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to extract the icon out of a Mac application. So what we're going to do is to be able to get a transparent PNG file from any app icon that you can find on macOS. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So the key to be able to do this is to get the get info of any particular file that you want to make a copy of their icon for. So for example, here we've got Minecraft and in order to get info, we're going to hold down the control key and then click on the icon and then we're gonna press get info. And an alternative way to get this window is if we close this, if we highlight the icon and hold down command I, then this is gonna get info as well. So we want this window open here. And what we wanna do is to basically highlight this icon. So if you click on this here, you can see this blue line around the icon. And basically we wanna make a copy of that. So we don't wanna do this edit and copy because that's gonna copy the wrong thing. What we wanna do is to highlight that and then, and then press the keystrokes command C. And that's gonna put this file into the clipboard. So the next step is to paste the image file somewhere so we can save it. So we're gonna click on the top right hand side here and then go to spotlight. We're gonna type in the word preview and then select the top line. And what Preview wants to do here is wants to open a file, but we don't want to do that. We want to create a new file. So with Preview highlighted, we're going to go to File, and then we have this option here, which is New from Clipboard. So that's going to create a new file from whatever we just put into Clipboard using Command C. So now I'm going to press New from Clipboard, and now we have the Minecraft icon here. So you can actually see that there's multiple versions of the same icon. That's because different icons are used depending on the size of the icon being displayed in Finder or in a different location. Uh, let's say we want this high quality big version here. And what we're gonna do is to highlight that one and then press file and then save. So I'm gonna call this one Minecraft icon and the format here is PNG with the alpha. So that means that it maintains its transparency and then press save. So if I go to my downloads folder, I can see my Minecraft icon here. I'll press space and then that's given us a transparent image. And we are free to use this in any other document or file and we successfully extracted that icon. Another way to use this is if we press the Command C button to put this into the clipboard and you have something like a Canva window open up in your browser, you can just go ahead and directly paste this. So you're gonna edit and then paste. And what that's done is that it's directly uploaded that Minecraft icon directly into your Canva document. So we can use this as we wish. And you can basically do this with any icon that you want. Most icons are supported as long as they have a PNG file within them. For example, I'm gonna grab Discord press command I, then we're gonna highlight this, press command C, and then within Canva, we're gonna press edit and then paste. And now we have our Discord icon here. That's a very high quality icon that's completely transparent. You can see that images appear behind it. There's no white background or anything like that. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other video tutorials like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.